Hey, this is Kyle with Level 10 Interactive in Dallas, and uh, one of our biggest um, things we've been working on is building themes that are customizable with um, color palettes. Um, for instance, whenever we're using a theme like Bootstrap, um, Bootstrap is great. Uh, we love Bootstrap. We, we endorse it highly, and we use it on all of our projects, um, especially using the Bootstrap theme from Drupal.org. Uh, the biggest problem with Bootstrap is that if you want a custom theme, you have to edit the variable file and um, the less files and then compile it yourself. Um, and there's, it has to be done manually and pushed up to the server. Um, so what we were trying to do is make it for a way for a user or a client to add their own colors in um, and at least customize the template to some extent. Uh, so the first step that we did is that, is that I integrated um, the less module with um, the bootstrap theme using the color module as a kind of intermediate, intermediate step um, to kind of glue the two together. So basically what we do is that um, if you've ever seen Shane, is it Shane? Yes. Shane Thomas um, from Code um, from Daily Dose of Drupal. Uh, he actually has a really great um, video on how to integrate the color module into your Drupal site. Uh, so if you've never done it before, you can do it this way. It's really easy. Um, there are some things we don't need necessarily, um, but this but add, adding them in isn't going to make it any any worse. Um, so the first step that we did is that I, um, inside of my theme, uh, so we have a theme called Bella that we have, that I have, and if you look in the template.php, all I'm doing is um, the less module provides a hook called hook less variables, which allows you to inject your own variables that will be used in compilation compilation of your theme uh, of your less files so um, we have three main three main color schemes uh, the or three main colors that we use brand primary brand secondary and brand accent these are the same ones that are going to come out of the bootstrap variable file so this is the default bootstrap variable file and you can see that we have um, I think it just might be brand primary I think we might have added one in but we use these three right here brand primary secondary accent and what we do is that this is a way for us to generate the custom variables. So how this works is that we enable the color module, we enable the less module, um, and then we go into our bootstrap theme. And here we have our Bella, our bootstrap theme settings. And down here, um, we have the color set, and we defined our brand primary, brand secondary, brand accent colors via the color.ink file. Like I said, if you watch Shane Thomas's video or the any video on integrating color module, um, it'll go over all this. And what we do is that we define some default schemes with our colors. So um, I have one called Bella as a default, one called Prince, and one called Midnight. So if I drop this down to Midnight, Actually, let's use prints. Um, so basically, it keeps secondary and accent the same. We're just going to change the primary color to blue. We're going to save this. And so now, um, we are on the print setting. If I go to our theme, and I reload it, right now it is recompiling the less um, our less files using the module or using the variables from the color form and you can see that we now have this blue as our primary right so that's great so we wanted to take so that is um, basically how you integrate um, the color module and less and um, blue chip all together uh, what happens is that whenever you save this form these colors are then saved to a variable called 
called um, color theme name palette. So if your theme name is called example, it would say color example palette. So what we're doing is that we're taking this variable, pulling it in. If it's empty, um, what I noticed or what I noticed the first time I did this is that if you save, if you turn off the color module or you save it um, without colors in it, um, it'll throw an error on compilation because it's missing some some um, variables. So if it's empty, we have to say, hey, if it's empty, make sure we have something there so you can put static colors in here just in case. Um, then what we do is that we go through the color palette and you have to add in the, out, the at sign, um, basically as a string, um, and then return it, and then the color module will then or the less module will then compile it with your less folder. Um, after you, after it runs through that, um, the last step you have to do is make sure that you reassign the variables um, inside your variable file. So basically we're generating um, these new brand primaries. So this is actually the variable that comes from the, the less hook. Um, that you can see actually right in here. So brand primary, brand secondary. So basically what we're doing is just taking all of those and um, putting that set on the front, um, declaring it, and then we're just going to map it back over to um, the, the existing uh, variables. So uh, these are used all throughout all of these less files. And so um, we're just gonna remap it and go, hey, Instead of using the default um, light orange, use the one that is provided by the color module. Um, and that is it. So that is how we can integrate uh, the color module, the less module, and a bootstrap theme um, in a way to create a custom, uh, a custom theme that can then be recolorized and used over and over again. Um, so that's it. Thank you.